This is an example video for the topic composition of two functions, domain and range. In this example, we will be given two functions, f and function g, each with its domain and range written out. And our goal for the problem will be to combine one function with the other one and write out the new domain and range. I will now draw the problem out and we will learn how to work on it. So here we have our function f on the left and our function g on the right. As we can see, the domains on the left and the domain, the range is on the right. The domain is the x values and the range are our y values. That's another way we can think of it. For example, f of 4 maps out to 8, f of 5 is 2, f of 6 is 7, f of 7 is 6, and f of 9 is 2. And we can analyze this the same way for g as well. Now our goal for the problem is to find the domain and range of the composition g combined with f. This is also written as g of f of x. So for example, if we wanted to find g of f of 4, we look here, we'd see f of 4 equals 8. So this thing here, f of 4, is, is 8. So we're finding g of 8. If we look at our values of g, in our domain we see g of 8, we see 8 is in the domain, and g of 8 equals 5. And so g of f of 4 equals 5. And that's how we combine the function together using our domains. Now this value of x and the domain of f4 did work. But for example, what if we had g of f of 6? We'd see that g of f of 6, well first of all f of 6 equals 7, and then we need to find g of 7. Well there is no 7 in the domain of g, so that one is undefined. So when we're finding our domain of g of f, we have to find the x values in our domain of f that cause f of x or that result in f of x values that are in the domain of g. So to figure out our domain of g of f, we are going to plug in these different x values in, do, in the domain of f and see if they work throughout. So we've already tried f of 4, and we see that that works. It comes out, f of 4 comes out to 8, and we see that 8 is also in the domain of g, connected right here. So 4 will be part of our domain. Now let's try g of f of 5. f of 5 maps out to 2. So we have g of 2. Now we see, is, g, is 2 in the domain of g? Yes, it is. We come together here. So that means that 5 is also in the domain. Now in our quick little example that I explained, we said that 6 was not in. 6 was not part of our, of our final domain. And we can see this if we try again here. g of f of 6. Well, f of 6 equals 7, so we need g of 7. 7 is not in the domain of g, so we're stuck here. 6 is not in our final domain. We try g of, if we try g of f of 7, see that f of 7 equals 6. So we need to find g of 6. We can see here again that there is no 6 in the, in the domain of g, so we're also stuck here at 6, which means that 7 is not in the final domain. Now we'll test f of 9, or g of f of 9. So what does f of 9 equal? We see that it equals 2, so we need to find g of 2. And we see here that there is a 2, again, in the domain of g, and those are connected. So 9 is in our final domain. So our domain of g of f is not 
these values here. Our domain will be the original x values that we plugged into f of x. And we're writing, writing it in set notation for our answer. The domain of g of f. Right? Our bracket 4, comma 5, comma 9. And that's the final domain. Now to find the range. To find the range, we simply plug in these values that we got in our final domain, 4, 5, and 9, and find the y values. So we've already done it for g of f of 4. We already mapped this out to g of 8, which equals 5. So we can already tell that 5 is going to be in our range. Now we will do the same for our other two values in our original, in our domain of f. So g of f of 5, then. We see that f of 5 equals 2. So we're trying to find g of 2, which equals 5. And then the same thing here. f of 9 equals 2. So we're finding g of 2, which we said here, equals 5. So we got 5 for each of these, which means that there's only one value in the range. 5. And this is our final answer. Our domain of g of f is 4, 5, and 9, and our range is 5. So if we wrote out g of f the way we wrote our original f and g here, it would look like this. We see our combined function with our domain written on the left and our range written on the right. And each value in the domain maps out to that one range value of 5.